Ian, a 5 0 win for your boys tonight again, you must be absolutely thrilled. Delighted uh, from start to finish. Uh, the game again, the second half, we made a lot of changes, but the, the, now the younger boys that come on now, credit to them now, they've had a hard pre season and against now uh, a good, powerful first team unit and, and in a broth and a, another clean sheet, so absolutely delighted. You mentioned there, you know, playing against a team once again of experienced professional footballers, and your boys really acquitted themselves really, really, really well. Well, we've, we've, we've from day one pre season, we've, we've put the emphasis on the players now, how good they are and you know, what they've got to believe in themselves and, and tonight now they show that now they can compete with anybody on any given day. Now we keep, keep saying it's 11 v 11, it doesn't matter what experience or who you're playing against and tonight they showed now they moved the ball with, with a great intensity, a great level of football and some great goals as well to finish, to, to, to cap it off. You can hear it just now, the rain absolutely teamed down the whole night, wind was blowing but your boys really handled the conditions well as well. I think it should do, now, the other night I've no disrespect that the pitch was a bit dry and in terms of now moving the ball quicker, but tonight now obviously the, the slicker surface, the boys moved the ball really quick, and uh, now the, the movement in between the lines and, and getting on the ball was now was great, fantastic. And you now move on to play or go head over to Northern Ireland. That should be a, a really good trip for you. It will be again now two tough games now. Balamine and Corrine, you know they'll be a good show, but again now we we have we've set a standard tonight, and I said to him after the game now now this the, that's the standard you set. So long may it continue, and uh, but it's good. There's a good feel factor about the club just now in terms of. The positivity, so it was good now, and it's rubbing off on the boys. So, yeah, I, th I think the thing that's maybe been missing from your game so far is you know, chance creation. You've been creating a lot of chances, maybe not taking them all, but there seemed to be a bit more you were taking your chances when they came along. Yeah, well, we had a, a, a bit of experience in, in terms of if you call it experience now with Gallica and me, Muddy. Uh, some two great goals to start off the game, and uh, now they, they set the tone for the night. And I think now, once you see the, the caliber goals we got now, then everybody wants to chip in. And again, I'm delighted now, again, some midfielders have chipped in again. Which I think now that for the balance of the team, I think now not just the followers but midfielders and hope, uh, now Tom Lang again defender now popping up with a goal. So all round now good goals from good now different areas. And defensively, I know your boys haven't really been tested, but anything so far in the three games they've had to deal with, they've done really really well. Of course, and that's three clean sheets, so great, no complaints there, and uh, now and, and a level of goal as well. But so over, overall, good. It's a, a learning curve for them, but they're, they're getting there. And it's now as I said, now all the signs are positive and, and long might continue. With the, the new manager putting a real emphasis on the young players, and do you think that's maybe encouraging the boys more to see a real progression or a chance to get to the first team? Of course, that, that's that's the main aim. That's why they're here. Then, now we've got a you know, fantastic training facility here, so uh, the managers come in and stay to play you. So it's up to the boys, but they've got to, they've got to, their level of performance has got to be the same. Now, now the application, their attitude, and, and the last three games now they've been different class. And a number of the boys are already had the chance to train with the first team, maybe only on the odd occasion or on a longer term basis. It must be pleasing for you and the academy to see that these boys are doing well and are getting the chance to progress. Of course, it's all about progression here. It's not about now how well they're doing the reserves. It's the next steps of the first team. Now that we've given them a platform to play in under 20s, Kirky's got the same with under 17s and they'll hopefully move up. But again, now all we can produce is a platform for them to get into the first team. But what they've got to do tonight, they've got to do it all the time and impress the manager because at the end of the day he picks the team and he'll he'll determine who goes and who doesn't go. So again, it's up to them. And, but tonight I think there'll be a lot of positives. I think the manager will like all be looking at the DVD. So he'll see the, see the signs and, and hopefully a few of them will be around again. And just finally, three games in, you know, we're now you know, getting towards the, or getting closer to the, the main action. You must be just overall delighted with how it's gone so far. Great. And uh, again... Uh, we, where we set out pre-season now the, the games now they're always going to gradually get harder so the next two games will be a test and then we come back to Annan and then, then, then we start the league so it's a good, great build up uh, such good games but the progression in the last three games has been fantastic